Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the Interbubs. This is Ren Diggity Dow coming at you from the Gold Nugget Farm in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival series. In the previous episode, we were working on the foundations of the Mole District of Mole City. And in this episode, guys, we're going to do, be doing much of the same. But I decided to come down to the Gold Nugget Farm to farm myself some freaking butter nuggets so that we can add a few more blocks of gold to the Granny Dog Monument. And as you guys can see, I've managed to pick up quite a few gold nuggets. I have been down here for a good couple of hours, man. And it has been ghastly. If you know what I'm saying, bam! <laughs> uh, you can you can take that one to the bank, man. That was a that was a sweet joke. <laughs> but guys, it has been quite a while since I have played Minecraft, and I gotta say, man, I am so freaking excited to be back. I fired up my computer today, and I was like, you know what, guys, I'm gonna play some freaking Minecraft. And yes, I was talking to you guys, even though you weren't there. I I talked to the Cyber Dogs. Even when you guys aren't there, man. When I'm lying in my bed, I'm like, Cyber Dogs, are you there? What are we going to have for lunch today, man? I asked you guys what we're going to have for lunch today. You know what you guys said? Steak! <laughs> and that is exactly what I had. In fact, I have just finished a juicy, tasty, tender-ass steak. And I am ready to play some freaking Minecraft, man. Oh, God, this is going to be awesome. And we are actually... Oh, goodness. We are actually one gold nugget short of another block of gold. So why don't we just take a quick run around here to have a look if we can pick up some more bits of gold um this gold nugget farm isn't the most efficient gold nugget farm i must say it does take a butt ton of time to get a lot of, a lot of nuggets but it is a decently free way to pick up some nuggets and um you know it it, it does deliver it delivers and it delivers really slowly and of course as you can see the uh, the pigmen are falling from the sky to their doom but I gotta say that it is quite a pre precarious way to collect nuggets because even though this is completely sealed in by cobblestone, somehow, especially when you've been down here for a long time, somehow Gar still managed to spit their globules of badness through these gaps over here and um, I've actually been hit a couple of times. Um, so <laughs> I do like this farm but hopefully in season 3 we're going to manage to find a more efficient way to get um, gold because damn we need a butt ton of gold to um, achieve our goals and we actually need one more nugget up in here man um, I wonder if we can actually kill this guy Rambo let's take out this pig man are there any other pig men about no nope. alright let's see if we can do this die your butthole Wham. take it sweet <laughs> he actually dropped a nugget from his bits there man that was kind of weird um, but let's make one more block of gold guys and then we're going to begin the precarious journey back to the mole hole and I think what we're going to do is actually spend a little bit of time in the mole hole let's let's go on a little mole hole tour a miniature tour guys because it's been a while since we've been home you know what I'm saying um, it, it's it's my home away from home man and I want to make sure that Beatrice has been doing her job you know I want to make sure that she's been cleaning I want to make sure that she's made my bed that she hasn't been stealing any sugar but she hasn't been stealing any melons. You, know, you never can trust freaking Beatrice, man. She's she's a dodgy ass fellow. I mean, after all, she was a zombie at one point, and you know you can never truly trust a zombie. Let's be honest. Let's be completely honest with ourselves here, guys. Um, so Nether, it, it has been real. Um, uh, I'm going back home. I'm going back to the safety of the molehole. Oh man, I am so excited to get back to the molehole, guys. I literally haven't um, played Minecraft for I would say maybe three weeks now. And of course, uh, a lot of you guys will know the reason why. If you're from the future or a new subscriber, you might not know why. So let me quickly explain. Well, I was just going through a pretty hard time in my life. And um, I just needed to take a, a break from Minecraft and a break from YouTube. But we are back, baby. In, oh my God, in the Nether Portal Temple. You know what, guys? We never truly take enough time to actually appreciate what we've got around here, man. Let's, let's just take a little quick look at this freaking nether portal temple, how sweet it is, man. Check at all this lava. Check at all this nether water and these braziers over here. Oh, God, this is so awesome. I love this freaking place, man. Oh, my goodness, this is awesome. Um, some of you guys know that I actually I went to Comic-Con 2013 in London, and I met some cyber dogs there. And um, I, every single cyber dog I met, I asked them, what is your favorite part of the molehole? And most of them said the nether portal temple. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, high five, man. I freaking love the Nether Portal Temple. Um, but I, I I have to say that one of the cyber dogs um, told me that her favorite thing in the mole hall was Beatrice's house. And you know what? I actually really like Beatrice's house, man. Check it out. It's looking pretty sweet over there, man. We're, we're going to go check out Beatrice's house.
house right now. We're going to check up on her, make sure she's not sleeping. Um, and here we are in the butthole, of course. This is our mob spawning um, facility up in here where we get all of our ex experience points and where we're going to be able to heal some more infected villagers um, when they drop, hopefully, into the butthole. Whoa, man, th th this place, this butthole is heaving. Um, die, you bastard! <laughs> oh man, this is so feels so satisfying killing mobs after so long, man. Seriously, all you got to do is take a break from killing mobs for a few weeks to appreciate how beautiful it feels to put arrows in the buttholes of mobs, man. Oh god, um, you guys know what I'm saying, right? Anyway, guys, let's get back into the molehole, Grand Molehole Station. Hello, baby. Damn, it has been a long time since I've seen your ass, and. Um, Ooh, it looks like there's actually a couple fences missing over here. Um, I do believe this has been uh, <laughs> something that one of you cyber dogs has been telling me for a, a very long time. In fact, for probably six months now. So hopefully that is now fixed and um, cyber dog, you can put your OCD at rest. But guys, I just realized something and my OCD is kicking in. I just realized that I did not fix the rail tracks in the freaking gold nugget farm and I didn't start the carts again. Face palm. And that was actually me face palming myself in the face. Um, oh god, okay, well, after this episode, I'm gonna head back to the nether and, and repair that, guys. But we are back in the freaking molehole. Hello, storage rooms. Good to see you. Hello, crafting table. Hello, chest room. Hello, everybody. I am so happy to be home, man. Uh, it's just, you know when you come back home after a really long holiday, um, and your, your house has that smell of, like, no one having been in there for a long-ass time? Well, take a sniff, guys. Take a freaking sniff, man. I ca that is exactly what I smell up in the molehole right now, man. It smells like no one has been in here for ages. And I gotta tell you guys, it smells like Beatrice hasn't been cleaning anything. And damn, am I freaking angry right now, man. We're gonna have, gonna have to have a serious stern chat with Beatrice in a moment, man. But um, just dropping off some of my jazz here. Let's see, do we have any more refined gold over here? We've got four ingots. That's not gonna be enough to make another gold block. So we've got... Four blocks of gold to add to Granny Dog's monument today, but I quickly want to head up into the wizard's um, the wizard's tower. But I first want to see the forge rooms again. Hello, forge rooms, looking sweet, man. Oh God, look at you, Anvil. We're gonna have to replace you really soon. You are looking like a busted ass Anvil, man. And uh, we cannot abide by having a busted ass Anvil in the freaking molehole. You guys know what I'm saying. Oh man, it feels so good to be back, guys. <laughs> if I'm shouting a lot or driving you guys crazy because I'm talking like a crazy guy, it's because I'm freaking happy, okay? So, uh, cut me some freaking slack, man, and give me a high five. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are in the Wizard's Tower, guys, the enchanting table there, awaiting our next enchant, which is probably going to be to, um, I don't know, I, I don't even know, man. We're going to have to enchant another bit of our leather armor. Unfortunately, I think I've lost my boots, um, my leather armor boots. They actually died, I think, in the nether. I, I think I fell or something happened or I fought a pig man or something and my boots have now died. So we're going to have to make some new leather boots, enchant them again, hopefully get some blast protection on those bad boys. Although... They might be in my bedroom. Let's go have a look, guys. I mean, I can't even remember what I've left where. Um, you know, when you take a break for a long ass time, you don't actually, you can't remember anything, man. You can't remember where you've put anything. But it doesn't look like my sweet ass leather boots are in here. Um, I do want to start naming my, um, my, my armor set of the dog. We've only named the breastplate of the dog so far. So I think that's probably what we're going to do with our, our next batch of levels, is to name another item in our um, armor set of the dog. But guys, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a nap right now in bed because I haven't been in bed in ages. And uh, you know what? Actually, before I even do that, man, because you know I've had a look at these, this linen, and this linen is old, man. I can still see my freaking... I can still see some some uh, some crumbs up in my bed over here, man. There's an apple core over there. There's some there's a steak bone in this one. Oh my goodness, Beatrice has not done her job. Well, even though it is probably midnight right now, and I know this is probably against all uh, union regulations, but I'm gonna I'm afraid that Beatrice and I are gonna have to have a long ass chat because you know what? She has not been doing her job, and I am freaking unhappy, man. Beatrice, wake wake your ass up, Beatrice. I'm back. I'm back. Why did you not clean the jazz? Why did you not clean the molehole? Excuse me, we need to have a chat. Why did you not clean the freaking molehole, woman? Oh God, don't you know I'm paying you in gold nuggets? I pay you like 64 gold nuggets a month. Oh, and look at her, she just turns her back on me, man. This is not, I am not happy with your performance right now. We are gonna have a performance review, you hear me? Yes, you can avoid it. You can avoid it as, as much as you want. 
but you know in your soul that you haven't done any work and you haven't cleaned the mole hole properly and you have made me freaking angry. I'm freaking angry with your ass, Beatrice, and I'm going to stick this tater straight up the crack of your ass. Hmm. Actually, she could probably take me to sexual harassment court for that. So, you know what? Actually, everything's forgiven, Beatrice. No worries. I'm just going to... I'm... I'm... I'm just gonna go to sleep in your bed. Is that okay? I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna stay here tonight. I'm, okay, but my bad. <laughs> right, guys. I'll, I will see you on the other side of this kaplui. Kaplui. All right, sabba diggity dogs. It's another day in Rentopia, and we are going to the freaking uh, Mall City Foundations. Beatrice, um, I hope we can get over what happened last night. Um. I was a bit high on tater juice, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I apologize. Um, just go clean the mole hole, okay? You got the whole day to do it, man. I won't be angry. I promise. Um, but guys, let's head over to the Mole City Foundations where we're going to continue work on the, uh, the Mole District, which is this area over here. Now, what I have been thinking about, guys, is the fact that I want to make double-story apartments here, right? But the only way that um, the NPCs are going to be able to go to the second story is if they have a clear way to get there. Now, my original plan was to make an apartment like this and then inside the apartment have a staircase into the second apartment. But I don't think that um, the NPCs will recognize the upstairs apartment as a separate uh, entity room. So what I need to do is create a stairway um, up uh, along the sides of each of the apartments so that um, the NPCs can actually uh, go into those apartments and recognize, recognize those apartments <laughs> as free and um, empty apartments. If you guys know what I'm saying, I don't even know what I'm saying. So I hope you guys know what I'm saying. But guys, I tell you what, I'm just going to... Um, Head back to the storage rooms and get all the materials that we need for today's crafting. And I will see you on the other side of this very awesome Kaplam. And damn, I cannot wait to get crafting again in uh, in, Mol in the Mole District over here, guys. I will see you in a second. Kaplam! All right, Sabbat so diggity dogs, we are back in the Mole District. And I've just gone and picked up some cobblestone and some more jungle wood plankage. Because we need to do a little bit of shuffling around exactly how we're going to be building these, um, these apartments. Now... This one is going to be easy, right? Because what literally what we can do is add um, a staircase over here on the side of it over here. Now, the one that I'm worried about is the one in the middle over here because because these this apartment and this comp apartment are right next to each other. We need to somehow get a staircase in between here somewhere. And uh, that is what I'm going to find. That's probably going to be quite tricky. So what I'm going to do is just show you guys exactly what I mean, right? So um, what we're going to need is, is a two block open alleyway next to the apartment so that we can actually build a staircase that goes up into the second story apartment or even into the third story apartment. But um, if this is going to be the wall of this particular apartment, what we need over here is um, a staircase, right? So check it out. If we have the staircase like this, this is just um, a very rough example of what the staircase will look like. But it's going to be something, a little something, something like this. And then this will be the entrance into the second story apartment over here. So now the NPCs will be able to come down um, from the mob spawn and when we cure them from the curing pit over there. And they'll be able to come and climb up here and claim this apartment in here for themselves. So this one is easy to do, right? I, I don't have a problem with this one. And uh, of course, what we're going to have to do is move this pillar across probably or probably not actually. Actually, we could just keep it like that, I think. That's... That's okay. And then the wall will sort of come over here like this, right? So let's just put up a sort of makeshift wall over here of what it's going to look like. There we go. So that's pretty sweet. Now, how are we going to do it on this side? Because, of course, our aim is to always try and preserve symmetry. And I think... Okay, so we've got an entrance into this second story. But now, how are we going to get an entrance into this second story? I think the only way we're going to be able to do that is to shift this doorway across uh, a couple of blocks that way. And then shift these pillars across... And actually add the entrance over here. So do I, I have an axe with me? Yes, I do. So let's take down this pillar over here. These two pillars over here. And then we're going to try and um, uh, maintain symmetry up in the mole district. You know, the mole district is kind of like a middle class um, 
uh, suburb, you know what I'm saying? Like the people who, who live and work here are like sort of mi middle class Maltopians and um, their apartments all look the same. It's, it's like it's in the it's in the law, right? Like if you want to build a house in the Mole district, it's got to look all the buildings have to look exactly the same. Whereas if you're going to build a, a house in the nether district, man, it's just it's just, it's just chaos up in there, man. There's freaking demon hovels and witch dens and freaking alchemist pubs and stuff like that, man. Um, I would highly recommend not living in. <laughs> in the nether district if you can help it um let's have a look at where we put the staircase over here how many blocks from the entrance two blocks from the entrance so remember guys we are following the law here man we got to keep everything symmetrical as possible so right over here is where the staircase is going to be and the staircase looks like it comes down to this block over here and it is oh yeah and then then we can just do it like this right Bam! Sweet! Okay, so that is actually working out pretty damn well. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, let's just finish off that staircase. Now what we need to do is find out exactly where our pillar is going to go. Well, it looks like it, this one can actually just stay in the same place. So let's get the pillar back up. We didn't actually need to break this one down. So we'll get this one back up and running. Um, one more up. There we go. Now, the one that we have to worry about is this one, because this pillar is now going to have to go over here. So, what we're going to have to do is shift this doorway over here over by a notch. Let's have a look. Can we actually uh, maintain symmetry up in here? So, one, two, if we made the doorway over here, one, two, one, two, perfect. That is awesome. It actually worked out beautifully, people. Absolutely beautifully. There we go. Okay, so we've maintained symmetry. We have now um, created a design that is going to allow us to build a second story apartment on the Mole District apartment blocks because we now have this alleyway that runs along the side of the apartments, allowing those NPCs to climb up them stairs to claim those freaking apartments for themselves. Man, it's going to be like a mad rush for apartments. Um, I wonder which is the best apartment. I guess it's going to be the one that has the best view, right? <laughs> um, hmm. Well, most of, most of these ones have a view of the railway line, so... Um, not not exactly the ideal location. Of course, the, the, the most expensive and the most lucrative properties are going to be over there in the Lakeside uh, District. But um, <laughs> for now, this is what we're working with. So I think what we're going to do, guys, is I think I'm just going to, for the last part of this episode, just create the, um, the foundations for the second story of um, one of these apartments. Let's have a look at what it's going to look like. Um, so what we're going to do is lay down some jungle plankage foundation stuff um, things you know what I'm saying and uh, oops do not fall down there and that will give us a really good idea of what one apartment is going to look like um, in Mole City including um, the first and second story so let's have a look so let's run the wooden foundations like this right and they're going to come along like this too let's get rid of some of this vintage and then it looks like there we go. Excellent. So we need to finish off the wall over here. We're going to have to get rid of all of this vineage. Man, how did that vineage grow so quickly on that wood? What the hell? That was weird. Okay, there we go. So that is the roof of the, um, the first story apartment, but it is also the floor of the second story apartment, right? So this is working out kind of cool. And it uh, looks like what we're going to have to do also is add another layer of jungle plankage over here because we of course want to maintain symmetry want to make sure that we aren't breaking any freaking um any any freaking rules of the <laughs> of mole district um i think we're probably going to have to appoint um a, we're going to have to appoint a mayor to each of the districts um you know to look after the rules and to to make sure that all the freaking citizens are doing their business you know rubbish has got to be collected all that sort of jazz man that is just a general city maintenance, you know, but man, we f first need to build all of these apartments before we can even think about that. So if we seal this off like this, right, now the floor is probably going to be jungle wood too, right? So let's make the floor of the apartment jungle wood, um, if we have enough jungle wood. Looks like we're going to have to go on a jungle wood uh, harvesting adventure, people. I... I'm pretty sure we are completely out of jungle wood all up in the mole hole. I didn't see any more jungle wood in the storage rooms. So, okay, so the floor is partially finished. <laughs> we'll finish the rest of it with dirt just to, to get an idea of what the apartment's going to look like. Um, so let's just finish off the floor over here. This is kind of cool. It's, it's exactly like a construction site. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have, you know, maybe your parents are building houses or you've been a part of... Um, 
houses being built you know exactly what i'm talking about right um the buildings are like just a complete mess it's just dirt everywhere man it's, it's, just, it's just crazy um right so let's add the walls to this apartment so let's check it out right if we made the window hmm well that window is definitely not big enough that is for shizzle so it looks like what we're gonna have to do guys and that's exactly why we did this experiment we're going to have to raise the, the roof of the second story apartment by, I would say, one block so that the windows can actually um, ha can be two blocks high, right? That's going to make them look much sweeter. And of course, right now in, in this sort of configuration, it just looks like a prison cell really more than anything else. But <laughs> that is basically what an apartment is going to look like. So we'll have like a small kitchen over here. We'll have the bed over here, maybe like a fireplace or a couch over here. I mean, these apartments aren't exactly massive, but um, they, they, they're not very expensive either. So, you know, um, our, our, our most city citizens can't really complain about them. So, so guys, that is looking pretty damn sweet. So the way that you're going to get into that this apartment is like this. And it actually looks like the way that we built these steps, the, the second story should actually start over here. The floor of the second story should actually start over here. So that is that is actually perfect, I think. That's exactly how we want to do this. Um, that is looking pretty sweet. So guys, I tell you what, man. Um, we've got one more thing to do in this episode before I'm going to call it a day. And that is to add four more blocks of gold to the Granny Dog Monument. Uh, you know, these these stairs over here in this monument, they mean a lot to me, man. And I want to get these staircases done because they, they are a very important part of my rehabilitation process. If you guys know what I'm saying. So um, the more blocks that we can get into this monument, the better. I think what I'm going to do is start working on this staircase over here. Um, let's get some blocks of gold into there. I hear a skeleton around here, man. And that means there could be a creeper here too. So that is not... Oh, you, you butt bandit. You butt bandit! Take it! Do not... Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Oh god, where are my taters? I've only got melons. Need to get to the work... The four, <laughs> need to get in here. Oh, I've got, I'm panicking! I'm panicking! Where are my taters? Ooh, damn. Uh, forgot about the fact that we're playing on hard mode right now. Um... It's been a while since I played Minecraft, okay guys? Don't call me a noob. <laughs> okay, call me a noob. Um, <laughs> anyway guys, um, like I was saying, this monument is a very important part of my rehabilitation process. So I wanna get this thing finished off. We've just added four more blocks of gold, guys. We will get there in the end. That monument is looking awesome. The street lights of Mole City have come on. Everything is looking sweet and dandy. There is a freaking creeper up in here. And I don't know where Rambo is, but I'm using a janky ass bow. I'm under siege. Run. Rambo, if ever I needed you, I need you right now. We are under siege from multiple angles, and I'm trying to say goodbye to the freaking cyber dogs, man. Oh, God. All right. I think we're safe, guys. I think we're safe for now. So I'm going to I'm gonna say goodbye really quickly, guys. This has been Rendog playing Minecraft Survival. I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, show me the love by hit... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I had an arrow in my butthole. <laughs> but guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, show me the love by hitting that like button. And uh, it, it feels like I, it was a bit of a rusty episode, but I have been away for three weeks, guys. So give me, cut me a bit of slack. You know what I'm saying, guys? We're going to get back into this, man. Cannot wait to see you in the next Minecraft episode. Thank you so much for watching my cyber diggity dogs. If you're new from somewhere on the interbub, smack that subscribe button. Guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye!